inward abundance, outward negativity. Inward abundance, outward negativity, man. Y'all see what the fuck is going on. Y'all see the vibe I'm gonna do this vibe. Y'all already know what it is. Um, peace and blessings to all my brothers, man. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes as a red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I love you guys, man. Peace and blessings, man. All praise to the most high. I'm thankful for waking me up this morning. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you brothers. And some of you sisters. Who the most high woke up. But I love you guys, man. Um, today's topic, I want to get into the Black Lives Matter vibe. I want to talk more about the Black Lives Matter. And um, I just want to elaborate on it a little because it's been bothering me. And I haven't had a chance to really, like, tap into that. But I hope everybody's, you understand, watching this video is in full spirit. You understand, mentally, physically, spiritually. Hope they spirit us up physically, mentally, and spiritually. All praise to y'all. And um, let's get right into it. All right, um, the Black Lives Matter movement, right? We're going to go with um, black men. Also, um, the Black Lives Matter movement, I know the LGBT. I think um, I'm not too sure, but whoever sure, whoever um, have more information than I do, y'all can leave the comment under the um, video and I can um, do my research and then I can like, make a video more about it. But I'm pretty, I've, um, it was basically like a, I heard or I've glanced and, um, about the whole Black Lives Movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. I heard that it was ran by LGBT. You understand? The, um, people who run a, the gay, lesbian, you understand? I heard they was behind the whole, um, Black Lives Matter movement. And it makes a lot of sense too, because when I, when I saw them rallies or when they rallied, um, where I reside at, um, the most the most people and the majority of people I've seen that was protesting on the Black Lives Matter movement, most of these people was um, they was um, gay transgenders, gay transgenders, um, lesbians. These are um, these are a lot of people who was basically I seen marching in the Black Lives Matter movement, and like I said again. You understand? There's no, there's no throwing shots at the LGBT. You understand? I respect whether you're gay, straight, straight, gay, whatever you are. I respect what you do, man. You understand? Whether you're white, black, Chinese, colors don't matter, man. Everything is your soul. You understand? But um, anyway, um, far as like with the Black Lives Matter, right? Let's go with black men. I see a lot of people. You understand? Even like a lot of activists. They going around, you understand, preaching a Black Lives Matter movement as far as my males. Let's go with the men. We're going to talk about the men first. Then after I'm done with this, I'm going to go on the female aspect on the Black Lives Matter movement. I never, it never seeped in my mind on the Black Lives Matter movement. And I wasn't big on it because I knew it was like a cover-up. That's already number one. It was like a cover-up. You understand? And when you really sit back and think about the whole Black Lives Matter movement as far as the man aspect on the black brothers aspect, um, a lot of y'all brothers is always quick to scream out Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, my brothers, and they all pressed against us and X, Y, and Z, and I can't stand, like, F the cops, and y'all do a lot of that, right? But then, on the other hand, y'all shooting y'all own brothers. Every time you turn on the TV... You understand? Brooklyn, they shooting like Afghanistan, Harlem, the Bronx. I'm pretty sure it happens in, in Queens, but you don't see too much of it in Queens. You understand? But I'm just main, I'm just mainly talking about what I saw, not what I what I read or what I heard. This, these are things that I saw every time you turn on the news. Brooklyn, 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 innocent two-year-old getting shot. It's crazy. So a lot of y'all brothers screaming the Black Lives Matter movement. But at the end of the day, is we we shooting each other. Real talk, like I don't get it. Like I really don't get it. Like 
we really shooting each other, like killing each other. You understand? Setting each other up for money. You understand? Like for women. You see a dude, you know what I'm saying, talking with a girl, he got an ex or whatever, and he ready to blow his head off. And that's your same black brother that you marching for. That's the same black brother that you walking around with the Black Lives Matter shirt. You understand? You y'all brother selling, y'all selling our other brother's poison. That's another thing, you understand? But y'all running around screaming Black Lives Matter. You understand? But y'all on the block selling pills and selling lean and you understand? So how serious are you about these this Black Lives Matter movement? And when you really look at it now, it's kind of dying down. I don't see people going as hard as as if when it first started. But that all was a cover up for when they killed um this dude, um Gregory Floyd, Trayvon Martin. That's all cover up, bro. They come up with a rally, they come up with protesting to make it seem like the world give a fuck about us black guys. But at the end of the day, they been fucking killing and killing us. Why they wasn't been doing a black move, a Black Lives Matter? What about on slavery time? When they killed us, when all them slave masters lynched us, you understand? Because we, because it was false allegations on um, some of the slaves that was um, maybe looked at their wives, or they just felt like lynching a slave. Why wasn't Black Black Lives Matter movement then, before the um, the gay community was exposed? How they exposed now? You understand? So it's all bullshit, man. But to my brothers, like in the city, in the community. A lot of y'all gotta watch what y'all say Cause y'all say black lives matter But y'all be quick to shoot your own brother But you walking around with a BLM shirt But then at the end of the day You quick to shoot one of your brothers You quick to sell your brother some drugs You quick to set your brother up You quick to tell on your brother You understand? So I really don't get it You understand? And at the end of the day I feel You understand that Other races Give a fuck about black lives more than our fucking black people And not just straight raw and uncut I don't give a fuck if you like it or not It is what it is Y'all know the vibes at the end of the day If you don't like my channel you can go somewhere else I tell you, unsubscribe Do whatever you want to do Because I don't give a fuck, it's real, it's reality If you don't like reality, that means you want to keep up with the lie So if you want to keep up with the lie I don't need your energy on my page, man This is about growing, man This is about reality So the brothers... Who, who, who's smarter And the brothers who Need the real help They can look at these videos And make them better people That's what that's what my channel's about Fucking uplifting people And waking them up And telling them the fucking truth Everybody who hate the truth Or talk shit They want to keep up with the lie But I'm past all that bullshit But like let's go back Into what I was saying Um so A lot of y'all brothers Talk about Black Lives Matter But y'all quick to shoot your brother Y'all quick to set your brother up Y'all quick to kill your brother over A necessity thing For our money Cards jury Y'all want to rob your brothers, but it's Black Lives Matter movement. That shit don't add up, bro. At all. Don't add up. Shit is fucked up, man. A lot of y'all dudes, oh, Black Lives Matter. That's crazy what they did to, that's crazy what these crackers did to X, Y, and Z. But at the end of the day, is you just like them crackers because you quick to pull a gun. Somebody say something the wrong way, you shooting them. Somebody try to talk to your girl, you shooting them. Somebody owe you money, Shooting them Look at all the shit That you killing people for But then at the end of the day If some military niggas Come to your hood And talking shit And they got straps too You ain't doing shit I know it You tough You gang banging You blood You crip But let let, let, let them niggas From another country Pull up Y'all ain't doing shit None of y'all Fucking fake ass gangsters Y'all ain't doing shit Y'all blood Y'all crip It's lit with your own people But when real people Coming that's about that life. Y'all ain't doing shit. Let's see how many. Let's see how many of the homies going mob up when 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 this fucking government have them soldiers on your block. Let's see what happened then. Let's see if you go get your strapped in. Even like even like with anything. And I don't condone things with police and 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 the U.S. Army and all that shit. I don't condone that. I just speak real shit because I experienced it. I done been in situations with people. You understand what? With my own kind. And they quick to bring it. They quick to bring it to your own people. But then when the cops come and, and pushing you or choking your mother, why you wear your shit out then? You're not doing shit. 
And I'm, and I'm not trying to glorify on violence on the police because it's, it's good officers out there. You understand? I'm not saying that. It's good just as well as bad. But I'm just saying that a lot of y'all fucking fake gangsters, a lot of y'all big homies, a lot of y'all niggas, y'all I'm a shooter. That shit is bullshit, bro. Because if you're a shooter, you're going to do it to anybody. And you're going to do it to who's oppressing you first. More. Your black brother ain't oppressing you. Them cops is pulling up in your crib disrespecting you. Them cops is telling you, yo, you can't have a barbecue here. Them cops is fucking pulling water on your fucking grills. And the only thing you're doing is throwing paper balls and shit at them. But then you the big homie, you gangster, you a shooter. That niggas is soft, man. All of y'all. Take it how you want to take it, man. That's just how I go. I'm just sick of this shit, bro. Y'all tough when y'all want to be tough. But the real cop is gunning your peoples down, but y'all not strapping up and doing nothing to nobody. I don't see none of y'all pulling up in the precinct with no 007 shit. I ain't doing none of that shit. And like I tell y'all again, I don't condone, like, you understand, violence with the police. It's just reality. Because I seen through with my own eyes and I got into issues with men. And they be quick to bring it to your own kind, but the cop could come through and curse your mother out. The cop could put your mother on the floor on her fuck with you with, her, with his fucking knee on the back of her neck and you don't do shit. Police could run up in the crib and tell your mother to shut the fuck up. And what you do? Nothing. Like the pussy you are. But then you the big homie. But then you want to gang up on people to fucking rob your own brother. But then a cop come and it's two cops could stop 20 people. It's 40 arms against four. It's 20 of y'all and two cops. But he could tell y'all to he could pour water on y'all fucking grill. But then as soon as the dude come and look at you wrong, you'll go get the grip. That dude just pussy, man. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't condone that, bro. If you're going to do it, do it to everybody. Don't pick your battles. And do it to people that's really doing it to you. You know what I'm You and your brother, he might said a, said a few words. All right, I understand that. But do it to the people who really hurting you. You understand? Do it to the people that's hurting your family. Strap up for on them. Don't strap up on your brother, but then you're going to walk around talking about Black Lives Matter. That's bullshit, man. I'm off that subject, man, with these fake-ass niggas, man. Those are niggas. I don't even like saying niggas, but those are niggas. Those are niggas. Niggas that act tough with their own kind. And then a police officer, they want, oh, no, sir. Yes, sir. The fuck out of here, man. But your own brother, you ready to take his life. Let's move forward now. Let's move forward, man. Fucking niggas, man. Let's move forward, man, to the fucking women, the bitches. The Black Lives Matter women. They, the, the black, red, the fucking red, green, and fucking red, red, green, and black. Fucking black power bitches, man. Let's get with that and talk about Black Lives Matter. First and foremost, this is see our black females, man. And this is reality, man. Y'all talk about this Black Lives Matter bullshit, right? But at the end of the day, is y'all fucking have a thousand fucking abortions. Y'all have a thousand abortions a day. You understand? Playing Penrill have been open for 45 years. So if you do the math on that thousand babies a day, y'all killed over 30 people, 30 black people. You understand? Y'all killed over 30 million. Blacks So it's a fucking genocide in our race Due to you But then you're walking around with your fucking head wrap You're walking around with your fucking Black Lives Matter shirt And you're walking around with everything fucking Black Lives Matter you crying for Gregory Floyd you lighting candles you running around with fucking With fucking fire lamps You understand? you fucking huddling over each other crying you building tents sleeping outside you throwing shit at police Breaking windows but at the end of the day, y'all bitches got the highest fucking SC. Y'all got the fucking highest abortion rate. But then you're going to come at me talking about Black Lives Matter and you love me. Get the fuck out of here, bro. And that's what I tell y'all, bro. Y'all need to fucking wake up, bro. Because these bitches don't love you, bro. If they love you, they wouldn't kill your seed, bro. Why everything? Why? The thing I understand women is that. Especially y'all, y'all, the black females, man. And it's like, I don't hate y'all. It's just the truth, bro. Be honest. Stop hiding who you are. Be real. You know what you've done. You, that's committing murder. You had abortions, but at the end of the day, is why you gotta, why you gotta, why your mistake gotta be abortion? Why you couldn't wear condoms? Why you couldn't get the IUD? Why you couldn't get birth control? Why your, why your mistake that you make gotta be with somebody's dying? And this is y'all black sisters. Look at all the, look at all the, the shit that y'all put us black men through. And I experience when it's problems, y'all calling men. Yo, I'ma call my brother. You get into a situation and get killed. You understand? This is why a lot of black women want guys who's gangsters. This is why black women want drug dealers. Because when she get in a situation, now you got to do something. 
They don't want thinking men that'll tell a bitch that you call the cops. They don't want to thinking men that'll tell a bitch, yo, listen, you was wrong for that. They don't want that. They want the gangsters that's stupid. They want you they want you mentally weak and they want you physically strong. This is why a lot of women like guys in jail. Because guys in jail is like fucking kids. But they physically strong. But they mentally weak. Once the mind is going, the body fall. That's what you gotta realize. Without your mind, your body don't mean shit. So you could be big, you could be fucking 300 pounds, all muscle. But at the end of the day, if you ain't got no fucking, if you not, if you ain't got no strong men mentality, or you ain't got no strong brain autonomy, you lose, bro. Bottom line. I don't give a fuck how many niggas you stabbed in jail. I don't give a fuck how much time you did in jail. I don't give a fuck what jails you've been in. Once you mentally weak, you're done, bro. Bottom line, and that's what all women want. They want you mentally weak, and they want you emasculated. They want you to be a bitch. Bottom line, bro. If you don't like it, I don't care. Get off my page, man. Bottom line, I'm sick of all of y'all, man. And then y'all fucking women, y'all got the highest, y'all got the highest abortion rate, fifty percent of herpes rate. You understand? But at the end of you walking around with a fucking Black Lives Matter shirt. And then you talking about, oh, I love my brother. You don't fucking love us. If you love us, you won't be fucking killing our babies like it's no tomorrow. Y'all kill more fucking babies than all war, all organized war, World War One, the Vietnam War. We've been at, we've been in 57 years of war. And 57 years of organized war, only 700,000 casualties was had died due to everything that was due to them circumstances. Now when you move forward, the abortion rate. 30 million babies. That's nowhere near fucking organized war of 57 years and playing parenthood, playing parenthood been open for 45 years. But you love me. Then you walking around the Black Lives Matter shirt. But then you quick to call somebody to get to kill somebody. As far as your boyfriend or your son or your husband, you quick to call them to get into some shit. And most of the time, black women call a black man to do is for another black man because she hates you so much. Even your mothers, your grandmothers, your aunts. Why did I call my nephew to fuck you up? You lucky he ain't in jail. Or I call my boyfriend, or I call my husband to come and exterminate you. But you walking around with a Black Lives Matter shirt. It's fucking bullshit, bitch. Y'all brothers, y'all brothers is killing each other, and y'all women is in a fucking abortion clinic, bro. But then y'all walking around with Black Lives Matter, man. I believe more of a fucking Chinese man. I believe more of a Caucasian man and a lady that's it's more of a fucking Black Lives Matter and then y'all fucking, y'all people, man. And that's sad, but it's the fucking truth, man. If you don't like my page, man, stay off of it, man. Bottom line, man. You understand? But for all my thinking brothers, man, keep being great. Keep being strong. Don't let these fucking women try to throw you off. Just try to tell you, oh, you're too aggressive. Yeah, that's what real men are. Don't let women tell me, oh, you're a good man. You ain't no good man. A good man to a female is a dummy. Even to your family, try to say, oh, you're a good man. You're a man at the end of the day. That's it. You understand? Speak your mind, speak honesty, and at the end of the day, love yourself, man. And at the end of the day, it's just because you speak the truth, if they they're gonna they're gonna tell you you shame and like, oh you hate black women. I don't hate black women. I got a beautiful black daughter. And I love my daughter with all my heart. You understand? I give my life, I give my life up in a, a fucking blink of an eye for my little girl. You understand? But at the end of the day is these are the fucking previous women who fucked us up, and these are the women previous before them that fucked them up. And at the end of the day is it don't got shit to do with whether you like somebody or not, real is real. Y'all do not fuck, y'all do not fuck with black brothers. And I gave evidence and I gave um examples of why y'all don't love us and why y'all really hate us. All praise to the most high, peace and blessings, scrap stay woke, well, close your eyes of blue, open your eyes of red, keep your mind on your money, and always keep a swivel head. I love you guys, man. Keep being great. Happy Friday. All praise to the most high. Y'all see what the fuck is going on, man. Y'all see the body, man. Ain't nothing changed. Y'all see the body, man. We here, man. I love you guys, man. A million salutes. Have a great Friday. Have an excellent weekend. And just keep being great, man. All praise to the most high. Peace and blessings. In the most high name. Amen, man. A million salutes.